Hi, welcome. This video will sh um, talk a little bit and have some examples on how to reflect a figure across the x-axis or the y-axis. Uh, when you learn this type of thing in math, usually in geometry, um, there are also other reflections to learn. You can re reflect a figure across a specific line or across the line y equals x or the line y equals negative x. Just for this video, we're just going to keep it simple and just reflect, it, reflect figures over the axes that are on the coordinate planes. Um, so let's talk about um, some vocabulary real quick. I have the words pre-image and image written down. You might want to take notes on this. It's up to you. They are very common vocabulary words that you'll see in relation to this topic. The pre-image is the original picture that um, the original picture or figure that you're dealing with. So it's the original one. Um, so I'll just write that down. And then the second term that I have written down here is called the image. Um, and honestly, that kind of just feels, I don't know, counterintuitive to me. I almost wish it was image and post image, but that's not how it works. So this is the final figure. Where does your figure end up? What does it look like at the end? That is actually called the image. Um, sorry, my eyes don't dot, but that just drives me a little crazy and um, there's not dotting. So for reflections, um, if we look at the blue graph here, this triangle here would be our pre-image. And then this one over here would be our image. Um, how do I know that? Well, I know that because I haven't told you this yet, but when we have an original figure, the points are just going to, or the vertices of the figure, like this triangle are, is labeled as A, B, and C. With this notation, with that little apostrophe, we call that A prime. This would be B prime, and that is C prime. That is the notation that we use for the image. All right, so when you go to translate or to sorry, reflect something across, you want to make sure you label your new figure with those little apostrophes. Um, what else? So reflection means to flip. So this blue picture that we're looking at, it's reflected over the y-axis. So it's almost as if this got folded. This side got folded and went across here. And that's why you can see that it's been flipped. So B is still closest on both of those. B and B prime are both the closest to the y-axis. A is the furthest away in the pre-image. A prime is the furthest away in the final figure or our image. And that's kind of how you can tell that you've reflected things. Um, this is a rigid transformation. It means that we've changed the figure. Transformation just means to change. A reflection um, maintains the same shape and the same, uh, same size. So the shape and size is the same in the original and in the final figure. Um, the thing that has not stayed the same is the orientation has changed. So the way that it's facing. Um, what you can see is, whoops, um, the, uh, um, the image here, uh, the original, sorry, the pre-image, um, that has the kind of the hypotenuse figure facing down, but with our final, it's flipped and it's facing down the other way. All right, let's look at this other picture here on this graph. This one is not translate; it's not reflected over the y-axis. Uh, you know, this is the y-axis here. You can see that there's nothing on both sides of that. This one has actually been reflected over the x-axis. Okay, um, it's not maybe quite as obvious if you haven't seen these before. Um, but what's happened is if it's folded, this part that's above the x-axis has come down here below, and this part of the blue or the original triangle, which was originally below the x-axis, is now above. And that's what will happen in reflection. Again, the same shape is in both of the figures, the purple and the pink. The same size is occurring in both of those triangles. They have not changed. However, the orientation has changed. Um, the pink triangle sort of is tipped upwards, and the purple triangle is sort of tipped downwards. So now that I've scribbled all over that, let's try some on our own. All right, this problem here that we're looking at asks us to reflect this figure across the x-axis. So I drew like all over those pictures. So here's the way to actually do these. We're going to graph them. First, you want to, what I tend to do is I want to find that x-axis so that it's anchored in my head of what I'm actually doing. So I actually make it bigger so it really stands out for myself. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look at each of the corners or vertices of this four-sided figure, and I'm going to analyze how far away it is from our axes of reflection. So if I look at the N, it is two above. 
So in order to reflect it, I need to go down to, and that is going to be n prime. All right, this I'm creating my image now. I'm going to look at k. k is only one unit away from our um, axis of reflection. So I'm going to label k prime one unit below. For m, way up here, it's one, two, three, four.